Well, welcome to London. We have from Barbados Jonathan Temple, premiering in the pilot for his dramatic thriller series Camouflage, with the help of His Excellency Mr. Milton Innes, High Commissioner to the United Kingdom for Barbados. It did really kind of take me back by just how graphic, how detailed, how intricate it was, powerful and compelling and really well done. So I, I was I was shocked, but in a positive way. Yeah. Is that the first time you've seen Barbados depicted like that on the screen? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I thought as much. So yeah. I definitely haven't seen like I can't wait for the for the I rest of it now. now. I'm kind of like on tender hooks like what happened and overall you enjoyed it. I loved it. I'm gonna be talking about it next like all the time. So I'm really thrilled and yeah, I can't wait to see more. Brilliant. I thought it was gonna be a little more gratuitous if I may say so on, on the uh, but what I gather from it is it is a kind of a in the end a moral story yeah and it's sh uh, showing a, a spotlight on how just how desensitized we are to crime in our culture yeah. and making us think through that but um, everywhere there's crime yeah. right so there's always yeah that th other side absolutely but I think it works so well on a kind of uh, creative story level that some of the best uh, stories are when you put something with a, you know, like, so, like Agatha Christie, one of our crime writers, yeah. always set her crimes in beautiful places. I think he's, I think he's a mysterious man, Jonathan. He, he is quite, he is mysterious, but I assure you, he's a very yeah. down to earth guy. Yeah. He's got a good heart, and that's yeah. it. And then, like you said, there's that message yeah. behind it, which yeah. is all about those good values at the root of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I really love the aspect and the message, which is one of the four messages at the forefront of the whole social media thing, our technology, how there was someone on the road and people were like filming it, which is so true. Tying that kind of really modern narrative into something that we know happens like street crime and all of that stuff um, I wouldn't have put those two together and it works so well clearly yeah. I came in blind and sometimes that's the best because you can just come in and enjoy it without expectations yeah. um, but now that I've seen it for the next thing I'm like okay cool I know he set the bar now yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just for a proof of concept, this is great. Absolutely. I don't think there was uh, the, it was glorified violence in any way. I thought it was actually, you know, showcasing the stark realities of what it's like to be, you know, in marginalized neighborhoods and in, you know, a kind of class of society where you do have all of these types of issues and, you know, challenges and obstacles that you have to deal with and yeah. what people need to do in order to fund themselves as well and live in this society which is deeply unequal. Well that's yeah. it, like you say, a lot of people they think of the Caribbean, they think of the, the sun, sea and sand and cocktails and yeah. that's about it. But this definitely is eye opening. Are you into crime thrillers or anything of that nature ordinarily? Um, not necessarily but this was really good. This was um, surpassed my expectations, it was intriguing, yeah. it, it left me with a cliffhanger, I want to see more of it. And have you got Caribbean roots yourself? Yes, uh, my dad's from Barbados and my mom's from Jamaica, so yeah. Do you, have you ever had an insight into the kind of darker side of Barbados, aside from the, the sun, sea and sand? No, I haven't. So this was like, wow, does this exist? Is this, you know, um, is this based on anything? But yeah, it was, it was like, it was interesting. So you enjoyed it overall? I loved it overall. Um, Jonathan and the team have done a great job um, and I'm just really looking forward to more, more of it. It was so exciting. It is all about Barbados. We're flying the flag for Barbados tonight. We really are. What were you expecting from tonight? What were you expecting the, the whole storyline to be about? It just exceeded my expectations. Quality was phenomenal, I must say. Absolutely, the camera work, the quality. Even I saw some actors that I didn't even know were actors. Shout out to Ruby Tech, shout out to Jason Cave, shout out to Matt Neal that I've known from the music industry back home in Barbados. They just did a phenomenal job. Mongrel, can't wait to work with you. It really did leave you on the edge of your seat tonight. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Really, really kind of bringing out the talent from Barbados, so we really look forward to seeing that. I am so excited. I am filled with so much vigor. I open to see a different side of Barbados, and definitely not the side that we're used to seeing in the media and stuff, but I really enjoyed it. I liked being exposed to that, and just the gritty side of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing the next episode, so, and I could watch that one again. So overall, you enjoyed it? 100%, 100%.